Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel Intuitive Astrologer and Soul Coach. And I'm here with my tarot tip number 21. This tip is about how swords people love. So far in these last few tarot tips, I've talked about how people give and receive love in different ways and how the tarot suit that describes someone can give important insight into how they love. I've already covered the wands and pentacles people, and in tarot, those were in tarot tips 19 and 20. This current tip will talk about how swords people give and receive love. Swords is the most social of all of the tarot card suits, but also the most mentally focused. As you can imagine, communication and sharing of hopes, dreams, activities, and basically all of life's experiences as part of how swords people give and receive love. But your swords lover may seem like the most sharing person you've ever met until they suddenly and completely shut down, only to reconnect a while later as if they'd never disappeared from the scene. So what's up? If you can imagine that they need rest between these intense social interactions, you'd be correct. So most swords people are a bit like a water faucet. They're either on or off. If you can handle that and not take it personally, you may have the beginnings of a very good relationship. Communication is incredibly important to swords people. If you want your swords lover to feel loved, listen to them. Remember things they've said and repeat them back. Better still, tell someone else what they said within their hearing. They will know that you love them because you heard them. Remember too, listening is an art form. You can listen with far more than your ears. Many swords people have challenges regarding their communication. They may be shy or slow to form their words or put their emotions into words. With these people, your listening is even more important. So what happens when you don't listen to a swords person? When you turn your back on them when they're in the middle of a conversation or rudely interrupt them? Well, from their point of view, you're telling them that they are not important. So you're withdrawing your love from them. It's important to remember that the intense interpersonal relationships you may create with swords people are mentally and socially based. When you come on too strongly or too emotionally to a swords person, you'll often see them quickly withdraw or even run away. Swords people are sometimes mistaken for cups people because of their social involvement with family and friends. But there's a big difference. Cups people love the emotional involvement, whereas swords people love the social activity. Always remember that for swords people, it really is in their mind. More about Cups people in my next tip. Visit me right here online. I'm at www.sandyanastasi.com for more interesting information on the tarot. I'll see you in the next tip. Bye-bye for now.